Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Quill Quickcard, and I think I've recovered. But alas, Pointy Boy has not. That one hurt. That one hurt really, really badly. And you know what's worse? On my way back, I was hoping to catch something else to use cut. But the tree had regrown when I got back, and I was forced to give my bay leaf cut. Bayleaf now has a dead move slot. But... All is not lost. I can still catch a Pokemon on Route 33. And in Azalea Town. So let's start with Route 33 and hope we get lucky. I have also put Foundation in front so that in the unlikely case another Pineco falls out, he can survive taking a self-destruct. Though I never intend to give one the chance ever again. That really did hurt. Please be something I can use. Unfortunately, Spiro was caught in Pokemon Yellow, so I may not use it here. And my Route 33 catch goes to waste. Well, maybe Azalea Town will yield a better result. Please, please, give me something useful. I beg of you. Nope, that is another Spiro. <sighs> okay. Then I am forced to move on. Route 33, Azalea Town, and the Ilex Forest have all yielded me nothing but pain and loss. Let's at least see if we can get Cracker another level. I... I was right. There are random encounters in any spot here. What do you know? A Pokemon I've never seen in my Nuzlocks. <sighs> Cracker, can you just... Can you metronome up something to make me happier? What the heck is that? Skull Bash. Okay. Well, against a double boosted Metapod. Yeah. I'll let you try one more metronome and we'll see what happens. Magnitude 5. Honestly, not bad.
So, I am pretty much down to two usable Pokemon right now. Ivy and Foundation. Look, let's, let's all just be honest here, okay? Pointy Boy was not going to be the harbinger of my endgame victories or anything. Uh, Beedrolls are simply too weak. But... The fact I lost it against the Pokemon I was about to catch makes it so much worse. And the fact I had just given it cut, I had just given it, um, Fury Cutter. Uh, Cracker actually got a really, really good move there this time. We got, uh, Bone Rush. Come on, Cracker, one more time. You can you can do it. You can reach level 10 on your own. I believe you. Nice work! All right. And we learned the hard way not to screw around with poison. I I am actually missing uh was it Dilip? Dilip now? I am missing having uh, a third viable Pokemon right now. Alright, I'll I'll give you one more shot. Come on, Cracker. Do something really cool. Fissure! Okay, that was cool, but in the end it didn't work. But I really appreciate the effort. If that had worked, that would have been absolutely amazing. Um, Ivy does still have Reflect. So... Unfortunately, I am very much now in a position where I may have to go up against Whitney with an extremely subpar team. And I am scared to death by that. Don't sneak up on me like that! You frightened a Pokemon away! Yeah, was it a Pineco? If so, I probably did you a favor. You know, Nuzlocke's... They're all fun in games until something like that happens. Please just throw the rocks. No. I can't be frozen by this. I can't just stop and worry about the past. I have to always think about the future. I have to plan for the next route, the next gym, the next region. I always have to be looking ahead. That's the only way I can survive. Okay, the encounter right in here is kind of absurd. Cracker, can you just... Can can you metronome up something good here? Fury cut... Oh. That is salt in my wounds, Cracker. Why did you do that? I am literally mourning the loss of Fury Cutter. 
it's okay. You, you know. Uh, you are. Uh, you. You are so disappointing. <laughs> You are so disappointing. Oh, you do not understand. Okay. Oh, come on, I was one step away. Oh, Paris, Paris or Parasect would have also been a really good capture. Sure, why not? Use a metronome, let's see what happens. Really? Really? You literally used Splash? Why? Why do you do these things to me, Cracker? I know you're just a baby, but please. Okay. All right. Next area. The next area has the daycare. What is TM12? Sweet scent. Okay, so that's another um Another Pokemon battle starter. Alright. Now, I specifically do not want to fight any wild Pokemon on this route. I want to get to the daycare... I'm the daycare man. Do you know about eggs? I was raising Pokemon with my wife, you see. We were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Well, wouldn't you like this egg? That's fine, then. This is yours to keep. All right. I have found the egg. Now, this egg is very, very, very special. This egg could be a Tyrogue a Pichu, an Iglybuff, a Cleffa, a Magby, or an Elekid. This egg can be any one of those. If it is Pichu or Tyrogue, I cannot use it because I used Pikachu in yellow and I also got... Uh, I believe it was Hitmonlee in yellow. Any of the others is viable. Furthermore, whatever Pokemon is inside it, it will be born knowing the move Dizzy Punch. The egg also has around a 1 in 7 chance, specifically about 14%, of being shiny. So, there is a very real possibility that I could get a shiny Pokemon on my team to aid with this run. Although, unfortunately, being a baby, it will be challenging to evolve. <sighs> okay. Don't worry. Once I clear out this route, once I reach Goldenrod, I plan to just walk around until I hatch the egg. There's a Snubble. 
very, very unique Pokemon. Uh, I would not mind catching one of those. Of course, they're significantly better this these days, uh, Granbulls and Snubbles, since uh, they're fairy types now. But it, it's just such an interesting design. Like, what is a Snubble? Good job, Ivy. Very, very proud of you. And this lady. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. No, let's have a real battle. If any of our Pokemon die, they're dead for good. You know, I actually find myself really regretting the loss of Hoppip. At the least, it probably would have been more useful in the mid to late game than Pointy Boy would have been, but... <sighs> no. I can't just sit around feeling sorry for myself about Pointy Boy. I have to focus, and I have to move forward. I don't think Whitney will be too terribly difficult. Um... Ivy and Foundation are both pretty strong. And it's really it's really just that mill tank I have to look out for, but but I can't ignore everything else. Whitney is the normal type gym leader in the normal type gym. Which means that a lot of Pokemon in there have stab bonuses on their very weak attacks. I cannot underestimate that. That gym is actually a threat. Uh, I won't be catching Pseudo Wudo. Uh, he's actually on the route where I caught Spinarak. Um, I bypassed him since I'd already caught a rock type. Oh, Liz, what? This is Liz. How are things going for you? Oh, you have to hear this. My Nidoran is so adorable. It always wants to nuzzle me. And, uh, we beat a wild Rattata with just one hit a little while ago. It's not far as for it, though. Liz, okay, I, I get it. Oh, why did I give you my number, Liz? Alright, Repel War off, that's fine. I'm on patrol for sp suspicious individuals. I think that guy will fight you, but only at night. I think. Okay, there's a Snubble. Um, I would not have mind getting a Snubble, but... Uh, the odds are favorable that the egg will end up being more useful than a Snubble. Yeah, go ahead and fight me. I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Want to see? Uh, sure, I guess. What do you have, Todd? Oh, a Psyduck! Oh, I have terrible news for you. I'm afraid your Psyduck's come down with a terrible, terrible case of death. 
see. The timing on that would have worked better if my first Razor Leaf hadn't missed. Alright. So we have reached Goldenrod City. <sighs> Hold on a minute. I'm going to do some walking until I know what's in my egg. Okay. Is it a savior or is it a flop? Please, egg. Please have something to help me on this journey. I beg of you. <gasps> oh. Yes. Yes, it's a Magby! Oh, thank the gods! It's something that can actually help me! He shall be called... She shall be called... Huggles! Oh, thank you! <laughs> Oh, praise the merciful gods. Okay. Oh, boy. So, what do we have here? Uh, the game corner. Um... I, I already know that the Pokemon I want for Goldenrod... Uh, I got a useful phone number for you. Okay. Oh, bills. Okay. Oh, uh, that's great. Wait, what? Uh, I just got called to the Pokemon Center in Equitique. My husband went off to the game corner. Okay. So, I don't think there's anything of actual importance in here. Um, whatever, I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's right, this game corner had, uh, had some different stuff, huh? Uh, we do have a department store. You know what? There, There's a lot of stuff that I can do in Goldenrod, really. Hmm. So, what do I want to do? Well, I consulted my charts, and I think what I would like to do... Can, can I go north from here? Um, yeah, this is Route 35. I can... Um, yeah, I... I, I want to see if I can catch something on this route. I'm going to show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. Uh, I very much doubt that that is what is about to happen. Plus, we got to start getting Huggles some experience. That's going to be really important. I think Foundation is probably my best chance against Whitney's Gym. So I'm just going to try <sighs> freaking sand attacks. So I'm just going to try and level up Huggles and Foundation. Um, I think all baby Pokemon evolve from happiness. 
Ah, no, I, I don't want to be dealing with that. It probably has water gun or something, or bubble, and that could be absolutely devastating. Possibly even, yeah, level 15 water gun, that would uh, probably have killed Foundation in a single hit. Yeah. Way too risky. Well, Camper Elliot, I guess you're not hot stuff after all. But, since babies, I believe, evolve from happiness, I want to make sure I take a look at their move lists and carefully control when they evolve. Uh, to make sure that I don't miss out on any really important moves. I probably won't, but... You know, it's a lot better to just be safe. Um, I think on this route... I actually have a decent chance... Of being able to catch a Growlithe, I think? I think um, in the morning and during the day, it's a 20% chance to catch a Growlithe here. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him! Well, she's not wrong. Um, I mean, he definitely didn't impress me with his Pokemon skills. What about you, Brooke? Aw, you got a Pikachu! Look at that guy! He's lost a lot of weight since the last game. Good, good for you, bro. You gotta take care of yourself, you know? I'm proud of you, Pikachu. And now I'm going to kill you. There we go. Magnitude. All right. Yes, fight me. I've been getting Pokemon data off of my radio. I think I'm good. How dare you now? Hmm. Do you think you could beat, say, me? Level 10 Diglett. Definitely not letting Huggles find out if it can take a level 10 Diglett. Man, I hate it when Diglets scratch you. You know. Whoa, okay. It has magnitude and I'm weak to magnitude. Okay, noted. Diglet learn magnitude at a very, very low level. Okay. That is extremely concerning. And I am not going to risk fate. I'm just going to let Ivy do its thing. <sighs> Under the right conditions. I think it is mathematically possible that Foundation could have been killed there if he was hit by a magnitude 10 critical hit. I think I'm right about that. Uh, yeah, we're still good to go. Behold my graceful ball dexterity? Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to get your balls away from me. Level 2. Okay. 
I don't know if that's a trap or what. But I know that I am now living in absolute terror of anything that is capable of learning self-destruct. All right, what else do you got? Okay, a level 14 Volt Orb. No threat there. Even if one of these used self-destruct, it would most likely not be strong enough to kill Foundation. Thank you, level 21. Trying to learn self-destruct. No, I do not want self-destruct on a Nuzlocke run. Such an emotional roller coaster. Every time I start a Nuzlocke, I think to myself, boy, you know, if I just play really, really good and I don't lose anyone, this is going to be super boring to watch. And then, very, very quickly, uh, I get a very painful dose of reality. Thank you, Juggler Irwin. Practicing my fire breathing. Yeah, that's cute. Do you have coughings or actual fire types? No! Okay! He actually has a Magmar. Uh, the stats on Magmar are actually pretty good. I don't like that. I also don't like that it lowered my defenses, but... Given that its main offense would be... F Ooh, yep, that's a dead Magmar definitely has no way to survive a magnitude 10. Thank you, Huggles. Hello, other Magmar. Excellent. Even magnitude 6 should be enough, enough given the uh, level difference. Excellent. Level 22. Okay, so this is the National Park. Um, let's see what I find on Route 35. <gasps> really? The chances of that were exceedingly low. It's also almost completely useless for a Nuzlocke. Oh, God, why? Why? Oh, on the one hand, it was really... <laughs> On the one hand, it was really cool to get this, because it's so rare, but... But on the other hand, this doesn't help me! Oh... Just, just do something. There we go, sleep powder, okay. Um, Ditto's actually have fairly low catch rates, but I probably can catch it. Um, although, 
Actually, yeah, we're, we're gonna go straight to my great balls on this one, given the difference in catch rates. It is asleep, and it's around 60% health. I don't really think I have anything else I can use to safely lower its um, health more. So... All right. Well, I have a ditto. And in honor of its spectacular transformative abilities, we shall name it you. But with that, we are now over our limit because that was Pokemon number six. So we're going to go back to the Pokemon Center. Uh, we're going to put legs into a box. Uh, we don't really need our Spinarak right now. And... Yeah, I... Uh, I have things I'm going to have to look into. Because this is... Uh, a very strange team I've got right now. But it, it's going okay. I started this episode in a terrible place and I am ending it in a much less terrible place. Hopefully that trend will continue and I will see you all on the next one.